Huh. All right there guys and girls. Well as you can see we've got our injector from out of the um, burner of descript some description. Um, found out the hole that's in it is roughly about 0.5 of a millimetre, so it says. I don't know if I can show you guys the hole on this thing. There we go, it's right there. Look. Now, I'm not sure how big that is myself, but I can get a one millimetre drill from out of the little box we've got here. Alright then. Alright. Try and do this with gloves on. Right, I've got a one millimetre drill here, and that's touching the hole. Now I don't think that hole is 0.5 of a millimetre, I think it's a little bit less than that. I'm not sure what size that hole is, but it's definitely less than 0.5 of a mil. Now on the side of the... On the side of the... Uh, just tell you kilograms an hour. Let's see that. Come on, damn you, focus. Come on. It's focused a little bit. There we go. Kilograms an hour. 150. What does that say? And that's the make of the Dan Thanos. Is the make of it. Followed by. Whatever the hell that means, I don't know what that means. I'm not into these technical things, so I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I know the battery's flat. Stop flashing at me. Uh, and 0 0.5, I thought, would have been the um, diameter of the hole. But it looks a lot smaller than that. What's that one there? What's that one say? Uh, C1Y, whatever that means. So, right, there's a bloke on YouTube who's made a Babington burner. Now, most Babington burners work by having a bulb shaped or a ball shaped device that oil drips over uh, with a small hole drilled in it. Now, the oil that drips over it, that, um, I'll ask the guy's permission if I can use his video, well, if I can link this video in, in the description. Um, but uh, the, it works by water flowing over the uh, over. Well, sorry, water. Sorry, oil flowing over the ball, and on the very edge of the ball, like where my knuckle is, there, there's a little hole, and then that shoots it out as a fine mist. Now the hole normally needs to be 0 0.01 of a inch, which works out roughly as 0 0.25 of a millimeter. So, a quarter of a millimetre, if you do quarters and things. Ugh. Now, um, the bloke on uh, the the bloke is pretty pretty ingenious guy. The way he designed his burner, he did it out of old pipe fittings, and that's what we've do what we, we've done. Although these cost quite a bit of money because I had to buy them from an actual pipe specialist. And I tell you something, you do not want to know how much these things cost when they, when they're made out of brass, or sorry, should I say copper? It's scary, like 35 quid for just one fitting. It's like, holy crap. Um, I mean, all this lot cost me 15 quid, just that, and uh, the opposite of that with threads on the outside, which I had to cut in half to get the right height. Now you can see how this works. This is going to be filled with oil. The whole thing is going to have oil in it, either filled from the bottom, from a hole in the bottom somewhere, or whatever. A pipe coming in just over the, uh, over the side of it, and pointing oil, you know, down to the bottom so it fills it up slowly. The oil then fills, uh, overflows over the side of it, coming down the side. Now, if I get the camera and try and edge it perfectly, you can see that this also turns. As it turns, its height gets changed. Now that is for when the oil that comes over the side. You've got to have just enough oil over the top. Of the uh, over the top of the jet, because that jet's going to be blasting air through it, not paraffin like or paraffin or kerosene like it used to do before. It's just going to have compressed air going through it. 
that is going to blast through the oil creating a very fine mist, much like the Babington burner. In fact, this is pretty much the same design as the Babington burner, only we're not using a, a ball, we're just using the surface of the oil. So it's just going to be below the surface of the oil. And it's going to, uh, obviously the reason why it's adjustable is so that you can adjust it so it's the right, so you get the right perfect mist from out of it. We're going to try it with water first, and then we're going to put it, move it onto the heavy oil, um, the waste engine oil. Um, now I've been told that you need to heat waste engine oil up for this um, but we're going to try and do it first without heating it up uh, and then failing that we're going to try and heat it up a bit to what the guy says uh, which I think was about 90 odd degrees I think so yeah quite hot but we've also got another idea about that we think that if we stick some temperature sensors on here some thermal cutouts, and you know, 12 volt thermal cutouts on a big relay for about 80, uh, 80, 80 um, centigrade like a car radiator fan for instance, because that comes on at about 90 degrees we, we hook those up to say oh I don't know um, a couple of glow plugs for instance, just drilled into the bottom here a couple of glow plugs they'll heat the oil up quite hot a couple of glow plugs, I think, with a pipe around them or something, just to increase the surface area of the glow plug. They'll heat the oil up that much that just this section here will be really warm. And then that'll give it enough to ignite it. And then once the flame's going, I'm pretty sure then you can put it back over to, you know, cold oil running through once you've got, a, 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 you know, a flame sustained. Um, then what we're going to do is we've got a nice coil obviously on here so yeah, what I'd like to do is incorporate the original burner's design into it somehow incorporate that into it but we'll see, I might have to do a lot of cutting out on this it'd be a shame to do it because that was quite good but I may be able to do it, I may not we'll see it may be a bit higher up maybe inject air into the side of this or from around the bottom I don't know, we'll have to experiment with that but we have got a nice nozzle there, well a nice a nice burner there which will give you a nice spiralling flame hmm. we'll have to look into that that will all be experiments we'll, we'll do when, it, when, when we get it running and obviously we'll have it fan assisted and whatnot. but uh, for now, I mean we have got the original box which has got a flame sensor on it and the spark ignition system so we could have that have that set on the side somewhere with the original spark is that the spark? no, that's not it, where is it? it's over here there you go, with the original sparks like that we could have that set on the side so that's you know, igniting the oil and you can see it would ignite the oil pretty good that would just enough so it's not in the way of the mist, but you know, make a little bracket or something for it to sit on. I reckon that would work really good. And obviously, somehow wire this guy and using some, I don't know, car HT leads maybe? Hell, we could even just use a car ignition coil. The reason why I wanted to use that was because it's all automated and it will, well, it automatically turns solenoids on, which is quite nice. It's got thermostat control on it, which is quite nice. Uh, it's got fan, fan motor control on it, which also is quite nice. That's, that's good, because we could use it to you know, adjust the fan width. Um, don't know, you know, just a few other bits, really. But it's, it's wiring that in, that's what I've got to get my head around. Just wiring that in. And we've also got a nice start, start, start button on it. Use copper conductors only. Oh, what else would you use? Uh, I suppose you could solder it. <laughs> anyway, enough talking, I think, guys and girls. It's ten minutes worth of chatting, isn't it? That you want to see this thing run, and I do as well. We've got to convert this to it runs on airline, so brake line to airline. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Just flare it, I think, and then stick a jubilee clipper uh, behind it. I think that's what I'll do. That should be enough to withstand about 30 psi. And then. Uh, well, then that should be good, I think. I hope. 
I hope I think. Tiny it up because it's loose, as you can see. And that should be good. Okie dokie then guys and girls. I will uh, catch you all later and hopefully the next video I'll do will be a tester of this actually actually running. We can only hope and pray that it does work. Well, I do anyway. <laughs> Bye guys and girls, thanks for watching, and peace out. I really do need to charge this battery up.